Hey everybody, it's Scott over here at the Crypto Dojo. Well, it's Super Bowl Sunday already, and uh, I, you know I, don't, I really don't have an attachment to either team. Um, I just hope it's a good game. Anyway, I wanted to do this video um, in regards to avoiding FOMO. Well, remember what FOMO is, fear of missing out. And the more you stay on social media, the more you watch social sentiment, you're going to have influencers, you're going to have, you know, supposed gurus and experts and all that kind of stuff telling you, "Oh wow, this is the this is the greatest thing since sliced bread." And, you know, "Oh man, I'm not telling you what to do. This is not financial advice, but man, this thing is going to go to the moon. It's going to do this, it's going to do that." Get away from that mindset. Because then what happens is you get away from being um a logical, reasonable investor to an emotional investor. Now you're just buying in to, you know, what you're being spoon fed. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, and we're kind of seeing it, we've been seeing it. People jump into these projects because this guru said something, or this person said that, or this influencer, or YouTuber, and all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden they get rug pulled, or you you know, possibly lose all your money and, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth putting yourself in that kind of a position. So a a few things that you can do to help you avoid FOMO. One, if you hear of a crypto project, stop, go to their website, do research. I, I did a video um, on research and I have like a little mini course that I'm doing. Oh, by the way, I'm sitting in the car and I apologize for this, but we have kids home and dogs are home and you know, it's just really loud. So I'm in the car and in my driveway (laughs) and I've probably done that a few times. I apologize that in advance, but you know, Hey, I just got inspired. I wanted to come in and do, uh, an empowering video because I've been doing some kind of some I wouldn't say negative ones, but some serious ones. And I want it to kind of be more uplifting and create hope and create, you know, a positive energy moving forward, especially during this week. Um, So anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, And as you can tell, I just roll with things. I don't do a whole lot of edits. We just go with it and just see what happens. Um, But what you can do to avoid the fear of missing out is if you hear of a crypto project, stop. Just stop what you're doing. If you put the brakes on, go to that website. Go to that, um, you know, go check out their white paper. Check out their roadmap. You know, do research on the devs. You know, cross-reference. You know, copy the images. Look them up. Type in their name. Google their name. You know, what other projects have they been a part of? You know, are they have they are do they have active court cases going on right now? You know, what's the integrity of that company or that crypto project you want to get involved in? And moreover, what problems does it solve? Is it just a community token? Um, and I'm not saying just, but we have so many of these where it's just it's really ridiculous. Um, you know. Does it have a utility? Does it have a use case? What problems or problem or problem or problems does it solve? What's the competition? Are they trying to solve the same problem? If if they are, then how are they doing it? What sets this crypto project apart from everyone else? Um, you know, that's just a brief thing you can think of. Please never invest in a crypto based off what other people are telling you. I'm never going to tell you anything. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't want to be one. I'm just I'm just sharing what I do and what my thoughts are on specific projects and what I'm seeing. Um, I don't get paid. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. Um, I'm sure as hell not going to promote a crypto if just for the sake of money and just for the sake of you know promoting it for the sake of my own personal gain, we have enough of that stuff out here now as it is. And I want to see more people step up and say, you know what? Stop it. Be ethical, have integrity, be honorable. Cause I'm going to tell you right now, I've, I've unfollowed people already. I've cut off, you know, I've not watching their YouTube channels because I don't, I don't believe them anymore. 
I don't trust that they're saying is in my best interest. I trust that maybe what they're saying is in their best interest because the more you buy, it raises the price, it decreases the supply, yada, yada, yada. Well, I don't give a crap about that. I really don't care. I care about you. I care about my family. I care about your family. This whole thing, I wasn't going to go there, we're going to do it. With Lily Finance, right? I, I went on Twitter Twitter, and I saw that it's pumping, it's raising up, and people are getting on the bandwagon again with Lily. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn. I am not investing in any company if it doesn't align with my values. I'm sorry. No amount of money, I've never been this way, no amount of money is going to make me you know, sell myself out and possibly hurt people, hurt investors, right? So I'm not doing it, and that's my promise to you guys. It's never going to happen. And I will, if I see that happening, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to put them on blast. I'm going to communicate how I feel about it because it's not right, and I'm not doing it. And so it goes back to the to FOMO. Look, when we're FOMOing in, oh man, I got to get on now. I've got to, I've got to get in. It's still early. Stop. Take some deep breaths. Go outside. Do some research. Ask questions. Right. Find out the the dev team. What are they about? Take your time. Right. It's it's better to deal with it now than you're in and all of a sudden you lose whatever money you put in. And of course, whatever I tell you guys is not financial advice, right? Buy, sell, hold, you know, whatever. That's, that is basically on your discretion. You decide that. You decide that. That's not up to anyone else. Don't let anyone pressure you to buy or sell. And that's another thing. If you're in a crypto project... Well, you only lose money if you sell. Uh, I'm sorry, but I've done that. But I've done where I've been in crypto projects, and I'm just like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything that makes me want to continue keeping money into this project. I'm out. So, have I lost money? Yes, I have. Have I felt? Have I slept good that night? You better believe it, because remember, no one else is. No one else is going to feed your family. No one else is going to pay your mortgage. No one else is going to, you know, um, keep the lights on. That's up to us. It should be up to us when we're getting involved or when we're considering getting involved in a project. And here's a little, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, cryptos that you really need to have if you don't have in your portfolio already. So anyway. Coming back to FOMO, I want to keep this short, right? So we're not just going on and on. But I think it's so important because I see this over and over and it, it nauseates me. It's like, oh, you got to get in now. It's still early. Hey, there's some, I, I have a variety of different cryptos in my portfolio. Some are more established, right? Some are new. Some I feel have a really good utility. And, you know, but remember, when you get involved in low cap altcoins, it is very volatile. The risk is very high. I mean, we're seeing it now. People put in thousands of dollars into a company and all of a sudden the bottom drops out and they got nothing, right? Be very careful. Only invest money that you are not afraid of losing, that you don't need, right? So if you have $20 after everything's paid and you want to invest it in a low-cap altcoin or something, altcoin, go for it. Do your research. Make sure that you know, you know what you're doing, but make sure that you're not betting the farm and you're putting everything into that one basket, right? So what I want to do is I want to give you two cryptos. If if you're new to investing and you don't do not have these, you must, or at least one of them. One, Bitcoin, the granddaddy of all cryptos, right? You need to have Bitcoin even in a small, a small amount, five dollars, dollar cost average in every week. Ethereum, there's number two. Ethereum is another one, right? So even if you're DCA and even if you're dollar cost averaging in, put $5 of Ethereum in every week, right? Um, and just leave it. That way it's going to uh, help you avoid um, the volatility and it'll kind of balance things out. But please, we want to make sure we get away from being an emotional investor. I cannot stress this enough. 
think rationally, think logically. If you want to get out of a project and it's like you you don't want to stay in it, and then it's almost like you're in a losing hand playing poker, right? You know you're gonna you're, you're losing. It's like you're sitting around four or five people and you have the lowest. You know you're looking at your cards. You're like, oh man, I don't know. It's okay to fold if that's what you want to do, right? Because at least you have some money you can play another hand, right? Or or, or go get a cup of coffee or whatever it is you want to do. But again, you be the judge. You decide what you want to do. So let's avoid the FOMO, right? Let's avoid that emotional pressure that sometimes that we and sometimes we put it on ourselves. Hey, no one's perfect. I mean, I've got I've gotten twinges where it's like, ooh, but I really want to jump in and get involved right here, right now, right? And be impulsive. When I do that, I stop and I may wait a couple of days and I'm going to do more research and I'm going to read and I'm just going to keep seeing what's going on, what's going on in the news with this crypto. What's their market cap? What do I think they're going to do? Who's on the devs? All that stuff. So before I even jump into a crypto, I'm doing whatever research I can. And I learned a very valuable lesson with Lily though. I, I almost, and I'm being honest with you here, I almost jumped in with both feet without doing what I preach to myself and what I communicate to you guys. And I'm glad I stopped and I smelled the roses and I took some time to research. So please make sure you're doing the same thing. I want you guys to have a fantastic Super Bowl Sunday. Zoom out. Get away from your phone. Spend time with your family. Let's have fun today, right? And let me know, who who do you want to, to win the Super Bowl today? Do you want the Rams or do you want the Bengals, right? Either one, it's going to be great. You guys, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you love my videos or if you like the content, please go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you think that, and give me feedback. What cryptos would you like to see me review or talk about? Hey, everyone, have a great day. You're awesome. You guys are my ohana, right? In Hawaiian, it means family. I want you guys to have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you again here soon at the Crypto Dojo.